Aquarius. What's up, Aqua? Shout out to my Aquarius out there. This is a message for you, Aqua. Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, North Node, Aquarius. What's going on? What's going on? Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, North Node. Take the message as it resonates. All right. Leave what doesn't resonate with you for another Aqua out there that's watching. Cross watches for Aquarius. You are welcome as well. Apply the rules as you see fit. The roles are interchangeable. This is not a gender specific message, nor is it time specific. Okay, whenever you come across this, is when the message may resonate with you. Father God Most High, I ask that you come and protect my energy as I channel this message for Aquarius. This message is for the zodiac sign of Aquarius. I ask that you cover and protect the energy of those that's watching for their highest good as well. Father, what messages do you have for Aquarius during this time? What is it that Aquarius needs to hear for their highest good? What messages do you have for my Aquarius during this time for their highest good? What messages do you have for my Aquarius? What is it that they need to hear? Father, give me three more shuffles, okay? Three more. What's going on with Aquarius? connected to a Pisces, a Cancer, or a Scorpio. I'm picking up heavy water energy. Some of you could be connected to water signs. I'm also hearing Taurus. Some of you could be connected to a Taurus or a water sign. Have no fear, first card out. I think Gemini just got that um, card as well, if I'm not mistaken. Gemini may be significant. Okay, Cancer. I told you some of you connected to water signs. We have Cancer here. What's going on, Aqua? I feel like you're fearless when it comes to you moving on from the situation. Okay, baby. Single, the will of fortune in the reverse. Some of you are on the road to being single, okay? That's your path. That's the cycle that you're going into, okay? So some of you could be releasing a person, releasing a connection, deciding to do things solo, okay? Deciding to go on a solo journey. You're taking a new direction. You're separating yourself from someone. You could have felt like this wasn't a part of your life path, okay? You could have felt like maybe this wasn't bringing the best energy into your life in some way or the other, okay? Yeah, in some way or another, you felt like something wasn't really bringing um, success, peace. I'm getting here that success and peace and joy wasn't a part of your life when it came to this connection. So some of you are releasing a connection. You're releasing a person. Some of you could be traveling. You could be relocating. You could be moving. Okay. I'm getting here that you're releasing fear. You're releasing doubts that you may have about this new direction that you're taking. I do feel like it's causing you to be a little restless. Okay. But I'm getting here that you're releasing fear. Okay. You no longer have doubts. You no longer have fear about this new direction that you feel pushed, that you feel called to take. I cannot make this shit up. I cannot make it up. What did I just say? We have new direction. Yeah, okay. Aquarius, you are headed in a new direction. And that new, new direction requires you to be solo. It requires you to be by yourself. It requires you to be single. So many of you just got out of a romantic connection. Some of you are breaking up with someone or you have broken up with someone. You could be filing for divorce. But you're headed in a new direction. And this is requiring you. This is requiring you. This is requiring you to be solo. I'm hearing there's a solo path. There's a solo journey. Okay, baby. That's what I'm getting for you guys. Let's see what else is coming out for you, Aqua. I feel like the passion is being reignited in you. Some of you may have strong 
of fire placements okay but you are you are showing up as someone that's very fiery in nature like in general like in general terms i feel like you have a very passionate very fiery nature about you okay so i feel like your passion is being reignited your spark right i'm getting here that your passion for life is coming back so some of you could have been in this very like melancholy feeling like kind of nonchalant apathetic mundane you know just bored with life like not really feeling the zest for life i feel like you're coming out of that okay so some of you could have been very bored with life or just very apathetic just very like whatever i don't i don't care what happens or i don't really you know like or like i just i'm not feeling like i'm having great experiences i just feel like i'm living i don't really feel like i'm living i feel like i'm existing i don't really feel like i'm making great memories every day i just feel like i'm kind of just hanging in there and doing the same shit every day or i'm just you know it's like that feeling you know we all know that feeling right i go i feel like that is what you've been feeling and you're coming out of that so that's great okay i feel like you're getting your zest that your zest for life your passion is coming back we have the world card here i'm covering it because this woman has her breast out i don't want youtube to demonetize me okay but we have the world card here this is a cycle being completed you have no fear about moving forward as a solo person you have no fear about going on a solo journey you have no fear about moving forward and closing out a cycle you feel like it's necessary you feel like this is absolutely necessary yeah, you feel a higher calling to do this, okay? You could be receiving downloads during this time. Those of you that are spiritually inclined, you may be receiving messages from the Most High. You could be receiving downloads during this time to take this solo journey to go in this new direction, okay, to move forward. You feel a higher calling to do so, okay? Because with the Wheel of Fortune reverse, you know... This is not the right thing. This, I'm not going in the right direction. Something here is not right. It's causing me to be restless. It's causing me to be agitated. It's causing me to not make the best choices in life. It's causing me to feel apathetic. You know, we always know when we're doing shit that is not in alignment with what we should be doing. Because you start to have those feelings, right? Yeah. The Empress reverse. The Lovers reverse. We also have Taurus in the reverse. And we have fire in the upright. I told you, some of you have fire in your chart. And even if you don't have fire placements, you just a fiery person, Aqua. You have a lot of passion, a lot of fire pent up in you. Like you have, I, I really get that I'm talking to an Aquarius that has strong fire. But those of you that are going to watch this and you don't have fire placements and it resonates, still take the message. But you are getting your zest for life back. You are getting your fire back. You are getting your passion back, okay? I feel like you're going back to what makes you happy and doing things that you're passionate about. Some of you could have stopped doing things that you were passionate about as well. And I feel like you're going back into what you're passionate about. This could be anything. This could be somebody that likes to draw. You stop drawing, you're about to start drawing again. You like to write poetry. You stop writing poetry, you're about to start writing again somebody here is into photography you stopped uh taking photos you stopped photography you're about to get back into that okay i'm hearing that somebody's about to get back into the things that they love to do the things that they once were passionate about i told you some of you were dealing with a taurus i heard taurus as soon as i started channeling your energy aqua i heard taurus and i heard and i saw the card of water so some of you like i said are dealing with water signs others of you are dealing with taurus some of you could have been dealing with a Gemini. Some of you could have been dealing with a Libra, okay? Because I have Libra, Taurus, Gemini energy here. I also have a, a Cancer and I have water, okay? Well, Cancer is a water sign. So Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Gemini, Libra, Taurus energy, very strong here, okay? Some of you could be dealing with those signs. I also have Scorpio here. Yeah, so some of you are definitely dealing with water signs or Taurus or Gemini or Libra, okay but the empress reverse the lovers reverse taurus in the reverse a lot of y'all was dealing with a situation where you felt like you were you were with someone that was imbalanced or someone that was um you guys were married to someone or in a relationship with someone that you could have felt like was taken from you energetically speaking maybe you felt like this person was taken from you on a monetary level as well but i'm getting here that this is more spiritual 
more energetic based if anything more than anything uh, so some of you definitely felt like you were dealing with someone that could have been like draining you energetically okay and it's not to say that this person is a bad person or they're bad for you it's just sometimes you know we're incomplete and we have healing to do and then we get into connections with people and we end up draining them unknowingly but it's just that we're looking to fill ourselves right so somebody here cup was empty and instead of them doing the work to fill their own cup they could have been looking for you to supply them right you could have been someone's supply here this is giving me energy vampire right so you could have been someone's supply aqua maybe somebody feel like that towards you i told you the roles are interchangeable if somebody was in a situation where they felt like someone was draining them of their energy someone was depleting them of their energy i'm hearing of their resources told you some of you dealing with a water sign i told you i had got pisces pisces and taurus is the energy that i initially picked up on and here we have the card of pisces so some of you are definitely ready to go on a solo journey because you felt restless okay rest and rejuvenate is in the reverse some of you uh definitely felt restless yeah leo aries and sagittarius energy told you some of you got fire in your chart you realize that whoever you connected to y'all are to unparalleled you guys are not on the same frequency or you guys are just not helping each other heal grow and evolve this may even be like you need to just take a break from someone maybe you have plans to get back with this person or you have plans to reconnect with them but you just need a break maybe you two just need a break you need some time apart because you just feel like you two have some work that you need to do separately away from each other right you could feel like this person is enabling you, that you're enabling them, and you two need to separate in order to do some healing, in order to grow individually, and then maybe you could come back together and have a healthy connection. But as long as you two are actually connected and in a relationship, you feel like this person is not um, beneficial in any way when it comes to your health, your peace, and your growth. It's time for you to heal. It's time for you to tap into your emperor energy. Everything I'm saying is the truth. Some of you were dealing with someone that could have been very, very manipulative. Or well, you felt like this person was manipulating you. But Aquarius, here you are in the upright. You are showing up in the upright, baby. Okay, standing firm in your energy, taking your power back. I'm hearing you're making new friends. So you could be coming out of your shell. Some of you could have been very close off, staying to yourself, kind of hiding yourself, like overly private to the point where you just feel like maybe you have no connections or no spark, no life, you know? You're getting your power back. You're feeling more alive. You're feeling lively, okay? You're feeling more social. You're putting yourself out there. And this is just for you to do. This is fair and just for you to do. We have the justice card here. Strong Libra energy. Some of you can have Libra in your chart. You could be connecting with a Libra during this time. That's going to help you. Okay. But this is just you having good karma. Karmic justice. This is you having peace. This is you feeling like you have vitality. Having life again. This is you being happy. Okay. You're going through a tower moment. But you're getting back to yourself. It's like... This tau moment, this ending, this new journey, this solo journey that you're going on, it's a tower, obviously, because something has ended. For many of you, it's a relationship, it's a marriage that has ended. But you're coming, you're you're coming into your own, right? This is you being happy with yourself. This card of happy home, to me, it speaks of somebody connecting with themselves on a deeper level. Somebody having a deeper understanding of who they are somebody reconnecting with themselves on a soul level okay i feel like your soul's mission is yearning for solitude during this time all right Aqua, let's get some more messages for you sugar father what, what more um what more <laughs> what other messages do you have for aquarius right now what is it that aquarius needs to hear for their highest good during this time 
Spirit, give me some messages that will help Aquarius. What's going on with my aquas? Some of you are also healing from childhood trauma, okay? Some of you could have had a karmic parent, okay, that you're healing from. Some of you didn't have the best relationship with a parent or parents, maybe both of them, mother, father, just your mother, just your father. But I'm getting that someone here is healing from childhood wounds, childhood trauma. Someone here is dealing from a not someone here is healing from narcissistic parents. Okay, whether that's both or just one. But definitely healing from childhood trauma. Someone here is healing from abandonment as well. Somebody here could have felt abandoned as a child. <sighs> Picking up on releasing codependency or releasing abandonment issues. Someone here has abandonment issues that stems from childhood. It's going to be okay, baby. It's going to be okay. Aquarius, don't allow yourself to become cold-hearted, okay? Some of my feminine Aquarius are definitely tapped into their masculine energy, okay? To the point where they are not feeling connected to their femininity, okay? Some of my divine feminines out there are really tapped into their masculine energy. And the reason for this being is because you are in survival mode and you have been in survival mode for quite some time. Damn near your whole life, you've been in survival mode. It is time for you to embrace being softer. It is time for you to embrace your divine feminine energy. It is time for you to embrace feeling safe and not feeling like you have to be in survival mode it is time for you to experience a soft life okay it is time for you to create a fulfilling happy peaceful abundant life where you feel protected you feel heard, you feel seen you feel respected, you feel valued and appreciated, you feel worthy you feel safe enough to be yourself, to let your guard down. You feel safe enough to be soft, okay? You ain't got to show up to the spot with your hand on your on your, your clip, right? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you could show up to the spot and you don't even need your clip. You don't even need it. You don't even need your hammer no more. You know what I'm saying? I'm just using that as... Um, I'm, like I'm, I'm figuratively speaking but for some of you that's how it is okay you ttg aqua whoever i'm talking to you ttg shorty you real you bout it okay hood shit some of y'all came from the hood you grew up in the hood i know the vibes okay trust and believe okay boogie down bronx harlem brooklyn all day i know the vibes <laughs> Some of y'all from Brooklyn, y'all from Harlem, y'all could be from the Bronx too. Some of y'all from the hood. It's all right, baby. You're about to live a soft life where you could tap into your femininity, femininity a little bit more, okay? Releasing that survival mode. Yeah, I know how it is to be in survival mode, for sure. Because the motherfuckers that were supposed to protect you were the ones that were going up against you. So you walk around not trusting no damn body, ready for whatever. Five of swords. I'm telling you, just ready for whatever. <clears throat> Aqua, you TTG, shorty. <laughs> you ain't got to be like that, though. Spirit says you don't have to be like that in this new cycle. Your wishes are being fulfilled in this next cycle. So you ain't got to be TTG all the time, Aqua. You ain't got to be trained to go all the time. Release that, okay? Let up off that a little bit. I feel like you're being watched right now, Aqua. Somebody got their eyes on you. This is somebody that may be wanting to return, wanting to come back to you. What is this? Somebody here definitely watching you, Aqua. Or well, this is you watching somebody. Take it as it resonates, you guys. 
Somebody here definitely has their eyes on someone. Yeah, Ten of Cups, King of Cups. Someone in love with you, Aquarius. Could be a Scorpio for some of you. This could be the mother or father of your child for some of you. Somebody's in love with you. It's an earth sign or a water sign. Could be this Taurus that I keep picking up on. But somebody's in love with my Aquarius out there. King of Cups, King of Pentacles. This person's looking at you as someone that they can have a family with. This person is showing up as a page. I feel like this person is nervous to talk to you because they know that you ain't shit to play with. You ain't nothing to play with. Whoever this is, they know that you're grounded, okay? They know that you are protecting your energy, you're protecting your peace, you're protecting your heart. This person knows that you have your wall up. They know this, but they miss you. This is somebody that you have past history with. This is someone that y'all could have grew up with. This is someone that y'all could have dated when y'all was younger. Others of you, this is a recent ex. But this person wants to come in and they want to work together with you because they love you. They're viewing you as the queen of pentacles. They feel like you two could really build together and have a beautiful life together. King and queen of pentacles. Aquarius, this person wants to build with you. They are in love with you. You guys have the two of cups in the upright and you have the three of pentacles. I feel like there's a reunion that's about to happen, Aqua. So you feel like you're about to go on some solo journey, but shit. While you on this solo journey, there's going to be someone that you are reconciling or reconnecting with along the way. I feel like somebody is mad about that. They're upset. They feel like that's an injustice. They feel like you abandoned them or you walked away from them. You stopped talking to them. They feel like you blocked them. They pissed off. Somebody here is pissed off. So somebody else that you're disconnecting from or you're moving on from is really angry. This person could be a fire sign. Somebody is angry because you have emotional balance now. You're emotionally independent now. You're no longer codependent on their energy. You're severing ties with them. You're no longer attached to this person. Yeah, they feel like you're impulsive. They feel unhappy with the choices that you've made. Strong Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy here. Some of y'all was dealing with a water sign. I mean, not a water sign. Could be a water sign for me to say that. Some of y'all was dealing with a water sign or a fire sign. Some of y'all could have been dealing with a Libra as well, with the justice in the reverse. Could have been dealing with a Gemini as well. Somebody here is pissed off. Could have been dealing with a Pisces. Told you you could have been dealing with a water sign. I got Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, Libra, Aries, uh, Leo, Gemini, King of Wands, reverse. Somebody here was a player. And this player is angry. This player is angry because they fumbled the bag. Aquarius, you are the bag, Okay. This person is angry because you have options in love. This person is angry because you're moving forward. There go that chariot card again. So whoever you're disconnected from that you know was a karmic, this person is angry because you're going on some solo journey and you're loving yourself and you're healing and you're becoming softer and more in touch with yourself. You're more in tune with your femininity. And my Aquarius masculines that are resonating with this, this is same goes for you. Someone from your past that's a karmic partner is angry because you released them. They wanted you to be up in your head and nervous about disconnecting from them. Somebody here wanted you to feel stuck and wanted you to feel nervous about disconnecting from them. Like maybe you're making a, a mistake by letting them go. You ain't making no mistake. This person just wanted to hold on to you. You got good news, victory, and success. Ugh. You got good news, victory, and success that's coming in for you. And your solo journey that you're going on is actually connecting you with somebody that you're meant to be with your emperor look at this aqua you're about to be celebrating with your emperor and i'm getting that it's a taurus aquarius for many of you there's a taurus that love your dirty drawers okay could be a taurus or a scorpio for some of you could be capricorn virgo okay but there's an earth sign okay that love you aqua here you are the star as you heal this person is healing. As you're going on a solo journey, this person is on a solo journey. It's like you two are having similar experiences. And you and this person will reunite. You will reconnect. You will reunite. You will reconnect. It is not over. You have unfinished business with somebody. Yep. Patience is needed in this situation. Some of you, this person could be a Sagittarius. But patience is needed in this situation. Some of you may also have a Sagittarius ancestor that is trying to communicate with you during this time or this person is watching over you, okay? This person loves you a lot. This could also be the person that you're healed in from childhood trauma or childhood wounds. But you have an ancestor, specifically a Sagittarius for some of you, or maybe a water sign too, 
that's watching over you. They're happy that you're releasing anger, that you're releasing aggression as well. You're not as aggressive as you used to be. But, Aqua, I'm telling you, as you go on this journey, as you release karmic situations, you're going on a solo journey, but I don't really feel like you're going to be solo for long. I feel like you're going to be reconnecting with someone that's healing just like you, for sure. And it's not someone new. Y'all know, I will let you know if it's someone new or not. This is not somebody new. This is somebody that y'all are, y'all are well aware of. This is somebody that y'all could have even been in a relationship with at some point. But it's like your souls are meant to come back together. And like I said, this person is, they could be a Taurus, okay? Some of you are reconnecting with a Taurus, a Capricorn, a Virgo, or a Scorpio. There may, they may, there may also be a Scorpio from your past that's a karmic that's upset. There may be a Gemini or a Pisces or a fire sign from your past that's upset. Okay. All right, Aqua. So reconciliation is coming in for you. Now, this message is not for you to wait hand and foot to reconcile with this past person that you missed. This message is for you to just know that you're making the right choices by going on a solo journey. And as you heal on this solo journey, know that the reunion will come into place when the time is right. Okay? Whoever you're reconnecting with, this person is not uh, forceful and you're not going to be forceful either. This is something that's just going to come about on God's timing. It's divine timing at play here. So I don't really feel like this is something that's happening right now or, or about to happen. I feel like this is something that's going to happen along the way as you continue to heal. So give this time, okay? Don't take this message being like, oh shit, she's talking about my old thing from back in the day that I've been missing. Relax. Even if it is them, you got to give it time, all right? Give it time. <laughs> you got some more healing that you still need to do. This person may also have some healing that they still need to do. But it will come. It will come. I'm telling you, it's on. It's, it's going to come because that's what I saw. All right, Aquarius, I hope that this message was helpful. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching, and I will talk to you guys soon.